So it's been about 250 plus days and I still have Klee at level 40. Hello everybody, my name is Hunter Sam. I make Y4 Meta content and today's video, we're gonna be talking about and I want to talk about why I haven't really leveled up Klee. But first of all, I got a Lost Prayer Circuit wins for her. I've actually got some nice Lava Walker pieces. Not the best, but our ratio right now is 79 or basically 80 to 137. Not bad, not bad at all. But unfortunately, we have C0 and we have uh, all the talents level 1. Hydro Sam, why did you even pull for Klee in the first place? Well, back then, when I used to be free to play, and this is something all free to plays can relate to. I think I'm gonna do a single pull so I can build pity. You freaking do a single pull? So after I pulled Klee, I was like, Hell yeah, dude! Let's go, Poggers! Because at the time, I only had Mona and Venti as my five stars. So technically at that time, I didn't have a quote-unquote DPS and everyone at the time was saying oh my gosh you have to pull Klee she is so much damage best pyro DPS ever if you're not using Klee you're doing something wrong with your life and I'm like okay yeah I'm kind of struggling on the best I need to do something to step up my game but then the more I played Klee the more I was like oh, I don't know if I really 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 do like Klee at the end of the day you play whoever you want to have fun and I just didn't have as much fun with Klee as I did with Mona so the only fun thing that I did really enjoy was just uh, causing some elemental reactions with Mona and Klee. So I would just apply the Pyro debuff with Klee and get some nice vaporized damages with Mona. And I stopped leveling up Klee after level 40. And the reason being is because in order to take advantage of Klee's DPS, she's kind of a selfish DPS where you kind of have to do your little, all your little bombs. And if you, kick, if you just click, click Klee, you're not really getting your most optimal damage because yeah she's easy to use right just spam bombs freaking press q and just freaking click 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 all the way but apparently you know if you really want to master clear you gotta do all these cancels right here yeah look at that oh look at that i'm a pro gamer boys i'm a pro gamer let me do my my charge tech cancels yeah Am I a pro gamer yet? So honestly, that's not something I wanted to do. Kind of just like to not. And it's not like it's not worth doing. It's just, you know, I don't love the character enough where I want to bend over backwards and freaking do all this canceling stuff just to make her better. But at the end of the day, I just used her as a support. And then as, as I got better waifus, I just decided just to bench Klee in general. Because yes, even if you pull Klee, Klee by accident, she is not a bad support. She has great, great value with her bombs. And... If you're well, hey, her her constellations are really well, are really good. Which means she's not a bad, bad investment. Klee's a great character, but don't think you must pull for her. I know there's a lot of YouTubers that say, pull for Klee, pull for Klee. But if I didn't pull for Klee, I would have been okay. Because, you know, DPS is come and go, guys. Hu Tao, Ganyu, they come and go. But the ones that actually last longer are supports. So as much as I hate to admit it. And I'm so sorry, Klee, but you know, Kazuda would be, I guess, a better option in case you need some, a support to enhance one of your characters as DPS. Because there's plenty of four stars that you can, you know, enhance with supports, and you don't need Klee. She's not a must pull. If you're a Lollicon, if you're a pro meta gamer that wants to be optimal and you find fun in that, if you like hearing a bunch of cute voice lines and watching a lot of bunch of things explode, then yeah, go for it. But if you don't have anything to support Klee because she is really squishy and if you don't take care of her, she will die really quickly. As far as being F2P friendly, you know, in the beginning, she wasn't because you needed, you know, the Lost Parasite wins and the Map of Mirror really isn't the best weapon for her. But as we're getting a new weapon that's coming out, I think uh, they're trying to push Klee on you guys to try to pull for her. It's not the end of the world if you do. She's not a bad character at all, but I'm just saying, if I were you guys, those free to play primos, because I used to be there, I would say don't. Don't pull for Klee. Something better will come. Save your primos for maybe a Hu Tao or a Ganyu rerun. Or a new character that comes out. But at the end of the day, it's whatever you want to have fun with. And yeah, you're thinking, oh, Hydro Sam, that's such a generic lame answer. But it's true. I'm not going to tell you to pull for Klee. If anything, I'm leaning for you not to pull for Klee. But then I don't want to seem like this freaking Genshin YouTuber that's telling you what to do. Because at the end of the day, you have to make your own choice. If you don't swipe, your primos are precious. 
Once you use your primo gems, they're gone forever. And the only way you'll get more primos is if you freaking grind or you swipe. And most of y'all aren't swiping. Because that, it's not worth swiping in this game. It's a freaking gotcha game. That's all I have to say about Klee. Now let me actually move on to our big giveaway. First of all, I want to say thank you, thank you, thank you so much for one, not 1,000, 10,000 subscribers. You guys are the freaking best. Holy crap. Um, Wow. Never. I wasn't really expecting. Of course, you know, you always have your dream, right? Of like subscribers. But my gosh, it just feels so surreal being here. And I can't thank you enough for bringing me here to this point. Thank you for always clicking my videos. Thank you for liking. Thank you for subscribing. Unfortunately, like not everyone who watches is, is subscribed, but that's fine. It's okay. I get it. I Sometimes I forget. I'm not subscribed to people that I watch regularly. But before I go off too much on a tangent, here's the details for the giveaway. I need you to please, please, please join the Discord. Link in the description. You have to be level three in order to participate in the giveaway. So I'm going to probably like give some time for people to do that. And then I'm going to do the $100, big $100 giveaway in my discord. Shout out to Miles Mundy, who is funding a big part of this giveaway. I appreciate it so much. And that's all you really need to do for the giveaway because it gives a chance for the real ones to win the giveaway. And not everyone who joins the Discord, guys, is going to participate because they're not going to be verified. They're not going to be talking. And it gives you a chance for you guys, the real ones that actually participate in my community, to win. Because I really want the people who actually support to win. But you're probably thinking like, oh, that's so lame, Hydrosam. I don't want to freaking talk in your Discord. It's so lame. Then fine. If you made it to the end of the video, thank you. And here's what you need to do. Like the video. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Leave a comment down below. It can be anything. But if you need a little bit of guidance, just tell me if you win the giveaway, what would you use the primos for? Because I'm going to be giving away to one special winner, randomly from the comments, $50. I will pick the winner probably in a week from now when i'm finally out of summer i'll probably do it on a weekend stream so don't miss out on that so be sure to do that so that way you can be entered hey but you never know when i'm gonna do a surprise battle pass giveaway whether it's on stream or in discord actually so i would highly encourage you to please do it as well anyways i think that's all i have for this video thank you all so much remember why forward meta and i'll see you in the next video